this snake plant has been under extreme stress and it seems like it has been overwatered. It got neglected. But I also do see there is some hope in the plant because there is a small plantlet coming out of it, a bud coming out of it. Let's see what we can do about this plant. Snake plant. In recent years, this plant has become very famous and very expensive. I think the first time I talked about this plant was probably somewhere about in 2018 and this is when Delhi was facing extreme air pollution conditions and people were looking for natural air purifiers and I did a list of plants that help in purifying air. So snake plant came out to be one plant that everybody really liked because it's very easy to maintain for. The great thing about this plant, if you haven't watched one of those videos where I've talked extensively about what this plant really does, in short, it removes xylene, it removes carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde. These are chemicals that come out not only from vehicular emission, but also many a times from the lubricants, furnishing that we use in our houses. But in today's video, I'm going to talk more about the care of the plant and specifically what are the troubles, the challenges that you may face with this plant. But before that, I want to mention that if you're looking for keeping plants as an air purifier, three to four plants in an average size room is enough. And an average size room I would say is let's say 10 by 12 feet. And three to four plants of average size I would say let's say up to three feet, three feet or lower than that. Now within snake plant as well, there is a wide variety. The care and the great properties of air purifying of this plant remain the same across. Now, the challenges that you may face with this plant are of two kinds primarily. First is what we see here is happening. So in this plant, what has happened is that the base has sort of rotten. Actually, I can pull it out as well. See, there's not much hope I would say for this plant right now because the entire leaf segment at the base has decayed. However, there is some hope because very closely, do you see these buds coming out? And in the second segment of this video, I'm specifically going to talk about how do you grow babies of this plant. So we'll root them then. But as for this plant, there is not much hope because do you see that the leaves have lost completely their base. If your plant is in such a stage, unfortunately we can't do much about it but that's completely okay because it's a very easy plant to grow. In fact, you can get a couple cuttings, couple of cuttings from outside your house or a friend who's growing this plant. Now, this was an extreme stage and the problem here was that there was overwatering. out this soil here and I'll show you. Very commonly these days in the nurseries when you buy soil, when you buy a plant it comes in coco peat. Now coco peat is a great substitute to grow plants such as these snake plants because they do, do not require a lot of nutrition. So what nursery guys do is that they mix coco peat and some regular soil or some compost which is fertilizer khal and they prepare this soil. The, flip side the problem with that is sometimes it holds a lot of water. Now nursery people know very well how to maintain plants but we don't. If your soil is something like this it means it has a lot of organic matter and it has a capability to hold moisture for very long. So what you have to do is do not repot. Many times people ask me hey my soil does not look okay should I repot it? Don't repot it because it really affects the plant in a negative way. Your plant undergoes shock. The only thing you have to do in such a case is reduce the amount of watering, reduce the frequency of watering. So what I did wrong here, the thing was that my health was not doing really well. I asked somebody else, my house help, to water my plants and they were watering plants together. Like all the plants every day were watered. Snake plant doesn't need to be watered every day. And that is what went wrong. For your curiosity, I'm going to just open this up and show you the rot. This was the entire root system of the plant and it completely decayed. 
this is definitely definitely overwatering problem do you see the entire root system has decayed if the watering at some stage was controlled this would have not happened i was also ignorant because this does not happen within one day or two day or even a week it takes multiple weeks to reach here and at one point it had so much water when you squeezed it it emit the water came out of it so that's the number one problem that people do with snake plant it is a kind of a succulent it does not require a lot of water now we will see a second stage a plant which is still in a savable position not something like this this is something extreme the second position is this this snake plant has started from a cutting and let me pull it out again do you notice overwatering this is a regular soil that we have access to and the shininess is because of overwatering it's a very clay soil what we really need is something in between these two soils but you don't have to change you have to just change the frequency depending on what kind of soil we have now if your plant is in such stage i would say that it is savable why is it in problem because still there is some rotting that has happened right there are yellow leaves coming out it doesn't look perfect so much i would say so in this case this was the pot i'm going to loosen the soil a little for better drainage mix it with the coco peat soil and put that back in this pot also remember there is a drainage hole at the bottom of this pot which is really important otherwise the water will keep collecting and your plant will die because of overwatering condition that's it so this plant can be saved now and nothing will happen let's see a plant which is doing perfectly fine is this snake plant this one here by the way these are two different varieties and this plant has a very fun name mother in law's tongue i'm sure you would have heard that name so let me take it out this one is also in coco peat the thing is that this was kept inside here on my bookshelf so it was spared from overwatering and you see there is a healthy root growth of this plant this is a perfect plant i would say and this is also growing in coco peat but because the watering was done right there's no problem at all at some point i'll have to loosen the roots as well because you would see that the roots are growing intensely but now is not that stage let's move on to the second challenge that people face with growing snake plant that is propagation meaning making more babies out of the plant now a very common and a very popular method of making babies out of snake plant is people take a cutting a leaf snip it into different parts poke it in soil actually there are these 5 uh, minute quick videos on pinterest i and like quick diys that you can do with your plants and everybody tries it but they fail today i'm not going to share that method with you rather what we're going to do is a method that'll for 100% <laughs> work for you what we're going to do is separate a baby out of it do you see there is a baby coming out here yeah very carefully we have to remove this part few roots might get damaged in that process it's completely okay see whenever you're removing plant from a, a baby plant from a parent plant one very important thing and the only thing to remember is it should have some roots then there will be no problem parent plant goes back in i will fill it up with this mixed soil that has coco peat and regular soil yeah this is good we keep it here and as for these pups i'm going to make two plants out of it do you hear that sound that's okay as long as it had it has some roots in it gently twist it yeah so there are two babies now both of them have roots my pot i can poke both of them together or i can do separate as well 
and remember in the initial part of the video i also removed a pup from this dying plant this pup here has the main plant a bud and roots it'll also work out so i put this soil back always block the drainage hole with soil so that not a lot of soil comes out from the base the water will anyway peak out it'll anyway spill out baby number 1 baby number 2 just poke them in just enough to make sure that the stem remains standing and then here is my bud little bud so i'm going to keep it on the top so that it doesn't die of getting in touch with the soil the top soil because when you will be watering it might start to rot this is how it looks right now this is the little bud you can't believe right that it'll turn into a plant i'll try and do an update on this probably on instagram once it's ready okay so we just keep it inside press the the roots in yeah and it's ready that's it apart from this propagation and general watering care light is not such a big player or not such a big factor to determine the growth of this plant however i would say that any room that is lit enough to read a book during the day is good enough for the plant however also this is one plant that you can keep in a dark gallery it'll do completely fine but then remember that when you're keeping your plant in a dark gallery with no light it's somewhat like on life support so you will have to eventually move it to direct light or a bright area any room for example here there's light falling on me because there's a window in front i can place this plant anywhere in this room that's it soil i talked about watering you don't have to be very generous with watering once in a week or 10 days works for me and uh, propagation if the leaf cutting method is not working just separate the pups and it will definitely definitely work i would also like to share with you something very unique specially designed for the festive season this may look like leather but it's actually not leather these are new planters that we have just introduced on our garden up store and what is special about them is that this is paper which is prepared in a very special way that it gives a leather finish and inside is actually rubber so these are water resistant inside they're completely waterproof all that you have to do from outside is wipe them with like a damp cloth you can use them for keeping your plants so for instance i have this dwarf areca all that you have to do is place this inside your planter and voila that's it so they have been designed specially for indoors you can place them anywhere there is no drainage hole at the bottom which means that all the water will get collected inside the pot and then once in a week or once in 10 days you can remove that water this will keep your dining table or whatever space you keep in your planter in very clean i have another one that i wanted to share this is another one i love how this one has like a thin creed finish to it but it's not really thin creed in fact the rubber also that is used inside this product is biodegradable natural rubber so you don't have to worry about the environmental cost of this product at all it's completely environmental safe in fact it comes in these cotton bags we've been very careful of it wherever we get a chance we make sure that we are plastic conscious and we are not putting in unnecessary packaging material so the packaging of this product is also something that a lot of time was spent upon this festive season we are trying to do something unique and something different with all our garden up store decor products i hope you like them do give them a try lastly i would like to say as i said most of my videos nobody is born with a green thumb don't be disappointed if you have killed a plant or two you can always try again and if you just if you're just starting out you are a beginner in gardening snake plant will be your friend try it out actually i made this video because there were so many comments many a times i don't get the opportunity to go and respond to each comment but we try and make 
a video out of it once there are a lot of questions we're like okay now we can address this in a video so that's what i've tried to do in this small video thank you so much for watching this video i hope this helps also do remember to check out the garden up store we have just launched a new range of home decor products for the festive season to decorate your plants both for outdoors and indoors i hope you like them thank you so much i'll see you very soon where is that I lost it. Did I lose it? Where is that bud I had separated? Kaha gaya? Mitti mein chala gaya kya? I can't believe it. I lost it. found it <laughs> okay <laughs> so we put this oil back in another lesson don't be messy like me